this is the secret. If you use SDI on set, you're gonna wanna listen to this. <laughs> this is important. The obsessive TP. This tip came out about a year ago on a bunch of forums. Everyone was talking about it. And basically, no matter what camera you have, if it's Arri, if it's RED, if it's uh, Canon, anything with an SDI output, there is a looming threat to all SDI outputs by just doing a normal thing that you do every time you turn on your camera. The reason this is such a hidden threat and a hidden issue is because it can come from just turning on your camera. And SDI is vital for us on set. If we didn't have SDI, we wouldn't be able to use this monitor, for instance. We wouldn't be able to have a Terra deck feed to the director and to the client, which is vitally important on set. Essentially, if this SDI broke, all we would have is this tiny little monitor to see what the camera's getting. That would be a massive issue if that happened on one of our sets. So you're gonna wanna stick around for this tip. So I would encourage you, this just came off and I don't think it was on correctly. I'll deal with that later. What I was saying was, it is vitally important that you follow these steps in order to prevent damage to your SDI output. It's super simple. I basically wrote it out. I wrote it out right here on this little printout. It says, remove all cables before plugging and unplugging power. All SDI cables. Remove all SDI cables before plugging or unplugging power. So as I've been looking at forums and Facebook groups, I've seen a lot of people approach this issue with steps. There's a sequence of steps when you get to set and you power this on, and there's a sequence of steps when you power this off. I see it much more simpler. Simpler? I see it way simpler than that. It's just this. Just do not have any SDI cables plugged in when you are plugging and power. For instance, we have our monitor. We wanna power our monitor on. The first thing we do is we don't have any SDI cables connected. So right now, the SDI cables right here are disconnected. And we just plug in the power. So the power for this is P-tap here to P-tap here. Right now it's not powered yet. It's just plugged in. We actually need to power it. I have my power cable here. Handy dandy red Komodo power cable. This is the safe way to do it. SDI cables unplugged. SDI cables unplugged. Now I'm gonna power it on. That was the wrong one. <laughs> there it is. It's plugged in. It's still not safe right now because the plug is actually not powered into the wall yet. So I need to power it into the wall. Then you can go to the next step. It's still not safe because it's still not plugged into the wall. So this is the issue that you could have on set when your camera op comes to you and says, I only plugged in the SDI after the power was plugged in. Power is still not plugged in. The actual issue of this comes when one of these pins hits before the other into the wall. So when one pin hits, the SDI tries to complete the circuit, that's when it explodes, that's when it breaks, that's when your director and producers are crying on set because you did the terrible thing. We want to avoid that. <laughs> this is just here to give you a tip to avoid a terrible situation with producers yelling at you because the client can't see the feed. That's a huge issue. And if this breaks, there's no way to get that feedback. Feedback. All right, I just plugged this in to the wall. We have power going to the camera now. Boom, next thing you do is you connect the SDI and then you connect the SDI here because the power is already connected. All right, the actual issue seems like it's not so much the camera power, but the accessory power. For instance, we have our Teradek here. Let's pretend our Teradek was getting power from the grid. I was plugging this into AC power. If you plug this in to AC power, you have to do it before the SDI. That's the big issue. So how I would do this, I would connect it to my rig. I would connect P-tap power to it. Boom, D-tap to here. Once everything has power, this is plugged into the wall, then you can connect to SDI. Power SDI. Power first, then SDI. Where this thing comes in handy and doesn't have the steps is unplugging power, SDI, also has to be disconnected, right? Remove all SDI cables before plugging or unplugging power. So before we unplug this, we're not gonna unplug this yet, we are gonna unplug all SDIs. Once our SDIs are unplugged, 
We're safe to unplug here, and we're safe to unplug here. We're good to go. After SDI is disconnected. This is the guy that's gonna complete the circuit, screw up your issue, so always make sure your SDI cables are off when you connect power or when you disconnect power. It's that simple. You can do some steps, one, two, three, and then you can go three, two, one, but just remember, this cannot have SDIs in it if you're connecting this to power. Cannot have SDIs connected here until power is connected. And this cannot have SDIs connected to it if you're removing power. This is the secret. Always remove SDI cables before plugging or unplugging. It's as simple as remembering the phrase, remove SDIs. SDIs always have to be removed. When in doubt, remove SDI. Remove SDIs before connecting power, remove SDIs before disconnecting power. And that goes with camera power as well as accessory power. Remove SDIs before you power your accessories, remove SDIs before you power your camera. I would go even a step further. I wouldn't just do AC power, I would do battery power. They say that the batteries don't have any impact on this, but I say, why not go the extra mile and remove SDIs before you connect or disconnect? this guy. That's simple. I hope that was clear. Comment down below if you have any questions or if I missed something. Love to see you guys subscribe. Love to see you guys comment on the channel. Stay obsessed.